Let's talk about the results you get when you have a moving load on your structure. In this example, I have a five-span continuous beam with a moving load applied. In this case, the moving load happens to be an ASHO HS20 short truck. One thing to look at in the analysis options over here on the project manager is that there's a setting regarding load stepping points. That represents how many locations the moving load is placed along each loaded member. So I'm using 51 at this time, which is fairly large. You might want to consider using a smaller number, which could probably lead to equally acceptable results. So now let's look at the result view and what we have available. Whenever you have a moving load, you will have a moving load low extreme and a moving load high extreme envelope set. Currently, you're looking at the low extreme, and therefore all the displacements are negative. Note that for these extreme results, they're truly not deflected shapes, but rather just the largest negative numbers for all of the results in the problem. We can look at the high extreme and see that everything is positive and upward. What can you do with these results? Well, one of the interesting things you can do is look at influence lines. Let's suppose I select this center node. And if I use my right mouse button, I have the op option to plot an influence diagram. I'm going to select that. And when I do, I end up getting this plot, which is telling me what the influence of a one kip load along various parts of this loaded structure is on the reaction at this spot. And we see that this reaction at the middle, if the load were right on top of it, the influence value would be minus one. We can see if we apply the load over here in the first span that we can actually have a positive reaction at the center, meaning we have uplift. Let's go back to the result view. Another diagram we can look at is a member influence line. So if I select a member, right mouse button and select influence diagram, now I'm seeing, seeing the impact of a one kip load on this span at seven feet. Notice there's an offset value chosen here, and that was chosen at roughly the mid-span of the member. So we're at mid-span of the member chosen. What does a one kip load do to the displacement at that spot? If it right under the load, the influence would be 0 0.01004, whereas if we had the load near the left end, the influence is not large at all. Similarly, we can see the shear influence as well as the moment influence. If we change that offset, let's move the offset near the beginning of the member. So let's set it at one feet. We see our influence line shifts over and we can see the same effects of a one kip load at various points along the length on say the shear at one foot from the start of the member. So that represents then the influence line that you can get from a moving load load case.